Hello, I am Akata Shiro, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, joined with me is Zakiyosha and Genshi. How yep. you guys doing? They're making me do this. <laughs> Zaki's still a little under the weather. All so, the weather. <laughs> so we just took a little while and went through some of the NPCs on the island, sold some stuff bought some stuff and seems like we're pretty much ready to to uh quit this place and uh, i've had my fill yes we have had our fill and so we're going to move on by talking to this lady here Board if i choose to leave the area after this message we will not be able to return again and I just checked the quest log. We have no open quests here now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we spent some time finishing that Tyrant set. It's just, it, it doesn't seem worth it. I would like everyone to non know that there are, in fact, four Source Hound and a very <laughs> mad silent monk still on the island. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure that's Okay, bye bye. She the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. She hops on board behind you. God woken. Wait till she finds out. Who, the Maester? I think the Maester. Maybe Dallas? Salty water mists your face. Your salty water! Trickles in bright, warm sunlight. Is that like Salty Genshi? <laughs> and Fort Joy shrinks behind Apparently my skin pickles. <laughs> I think that's prickles, my friend. Prickles. Well, once you just, once you pop, you can't stop. Oh, Genshi, Genshi has initiated a ready check. Are you ready yeah, to I move have. on to your next adventure? You may be unable to come back. Why is that a question mark? Ready. Ooh, that was a check. Oh, Time yes, it was. Victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. Is that Wendigo? They arrived as sorcerers. We killed Wendigo. They left as God -woken. I don't know if the fate I, of this I don't think she's dead. Now rested on no, being undead, it's kind of hard to die. That seemed way too easy for least, how powerful she seemed. On the shoulders of one of them. Can I say it? Can I say it? Okay. Say what? what is dead may never die! <laughs> oh, <geez>. mm. <laughs> I am gonna be salty, Genji. It just rises up harder and stronger. This Sibyl's prettier than our Sibyl. A light sea breeze oh. kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Ah! Hmm. Uh. We made it out of the fort at last. I can't help but wonder if all those people needed to die, though. <laughs> it looks as though our freedom costs some people dearly. It looks as if I always have to answer third. Yeah, and it, like, skips your dialogue and just goes straight to Sibyl. So it's like you have to voice your own line, because it never says it. Well, we made it out alive. More than I can save for the lost souls littering this deck. A hard fought oh, freedom, shit. sure. But if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. Yeah, why are there dead bodies here? Well, I'm guessing they killed everybody who was on, on board. Mm. The sooner the fort to joy yes, sure. disappears from the horizon, the better. Hm. Kind of like what we did at the beginning of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, magic pockets. Aerith has wow, taken uh, Face Ripper from Sibyl, Band of Brachus oh, from Sibyl, and Migo's so Ring from Sibyl using magic pockets. Oh, oh. Sibyl, where'd she go? She's not in our group anymore. No! She better be on this boat. I should have ditched Whee! Whee! These guys have loot on nobody, them. Nobody, nobody saw that, did they? What'd you do? You should come over here. Oh, these ballistas? Yeah, they work. Cool. 
That's another Geist. Yeah, none of these have. Sold in Diary. Uh oh. Hey, look, guys, I got a Rallying Cry skill book. Hey, guys, um, I'm sucked into a conversation. Um, where are you? Aft. What have I told you about that? Nobody's piloting the ship. I'm in. I'm coming. Gareth, is he on this boat? Ship. <laughs> yeah, he is on here. The Red Prince is on here. Mm. <laughs> He's your buddy, though. Can you stop loading and get in on the conversation? conversation? <laughs> Good God, man. I'm here. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. That doesn't include necromancy. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. Sorry, just reminds me of the line from Game of Thrones. Sir Taron Mant and Sir Who's It So Who Cares. <laughs> you know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply. Then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Yes, glad I'm not part of the bloody decor. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, the bodies, right? <laughs> Crazy, right? Too many. Right. One too few, actually. Whoa. Alexander, he's alive. What? I'm pretty sure we killed him. Yeah, I watched him crumple. <laughs> Can we get a picture in picture of us killing him? Sure. Right, right now. Right in the right corner. There we go. Mm -hmm. Look, right there. Look at that. He just goes down. Apparently, you didn't hit high. Not enough. Bullshit. <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure that the Void Woken sitting right next to him did. Oh, yeah. I could have sworn he died in a death. fire. Unconscious, but alive. Yeah, demon fire. <laughs> so, uh, now that you have him in the hold, what are you going to do? Question him. Wait, Someone he's... has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only <clears throat> Godwoken worthy of ascending. So he's actually on the ship. Down the As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. Can we burn him again? I was thinking more summon some of those uh, void worms and just feed them. You know, we better go. The order's gonna be after us. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. Um, did, did you, you try, try pushing it? You, you know, weighing the anchor? <laughs> Would it help if I got out and pushed? It might. <laughs> She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Who? Who? I uh, never heard of a ship that speaks, except Outlaw Star. <laughs> this is barbarous magic. It's hair cutting magic. Expedient magic, actually. The ship is made of live wood. It has the spirit of an elven ancestor tree within it. That can't Since be healthy. Dallas has found a way to bind that spirit to her. Well, let's kill Dallas. Is Dallas here? That means only she can control it. Unless we can find a way to break the bond. So, if we break the bond, is it suddenly going to turn into a tree again? I, I, I'm gonna... The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. 
Dark magic. <laughs> These seekers have such a limited skill set. Why don't you fucking do it? Yeah. Milady. <laughs> <laughs> we lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. Uh, Maybe yeah. just fell over. I mean, I appreciate his dying. I'm sure the God Woken will be able to get the ship moving. They kind of like to feel useful, don't they? Okay, Sorixia, you get up behind one of the big uh, flaps of sheets up in the air. Yeah. And just blow on it. Yeah. That should be good. Yeah, uh, I mean, I agree. Oh, yes. I'm still waiting to find out what the shit you did while I'm here. <laughs> I'm just standing around looking smug. Hopefully, you'll never have to find out. Which doesn't answer the fucking <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Oh, we want to talk. The ship creaks beneath you. Somewhere on board, there must be a way to get it moving. I heard if we set fire to it, it'll get moving. Hmm. Well, uh, let's look around carefully, I guess. Am I let's allowed to use fire? Carefully. There must be a way to take control of the ship. This was a Magister ship. Let's proceed <clears throat> with caution. Who knows what they have hidden away below decks. Every idle moment gives the Magisters more time to attack again. We need to hurry. Every idle moment gives <laughs> wow. the Magisters more time to attack <laughs> again. We need to hurry. Huh. I am curious to know where she is, though. I want to teleport this bitch off of there. <clears throat> so the Red Prince is up here. See, Moon? Nothing on any of the dead bodies. Maybe there's something below Jewels. deck. Maybe she's below deck or something. Oh, I got some weapons and stuff. I'm going below. Storage chest. Know. You may have a storage chest in the middle deck of the Weighty Vengeance. Use the action menu to send items there for safekeeping. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, there's uh, a yeah. power ship. Yeah. What's the damage on... Uh, we don't have Sibyl right now, do now we? Now is not the time for that. Now is not the time for that. Yeah, so we have storage chest here that we can store stuff on. Holy crap. Dude, there's a lot of ballistas down here. I found a carbon below. Yes, I'm one deck below. Exter Beast. Ship Rat. Dallas Assistant are in the back. <clears throat> so Beast is here. That dwarf. Oh my god, I need a lot of money. Fane is here. Why do you need money? There's a great set of armor up here. Oh, it's shops? Yeah. Is there another deck somewhere? pillow. I can stay in there. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Shiprat, do you know how to steer the ship? Well, maybe he does know. Surprising how many, how often the rats... Oh, no. Now what? So I found the dead seeker. Okay. So, he was checking out the figurehead? Uh, the figurehead is who we need to talk to. Oh, oh is that what the rat was saying? It attacked him without warning and burned him as if he was made of parchment, which sounds like one of the Shriekers. Oh, jeez. Well, I still have a purging wand. I never did use it in that fight like I said I wanted to do. Uh, ladies, I stud the old tub. Take a lot to sink out. Oh, there's another hatch here, right by the uh, storage chests. Yes, there is. <laughs> Han, Sergeant Zarela, Sibyl's down here. Whoa, what is all this? This boat is massive. 
I'm not seeing a lot of dark magically stuck things. Uh, Alexander's down here. What the fuck is this thing? There's some I creepy mirror something. thing. Oh, I spotted something. A loose plank. Uh, just has gold potion and a uh, grenade in it. Um, I clicked on a door and it put me into a conversation. Okay. There's no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Should I raise the door to knock or reach for the doorknob? Uh, knock? We've braved the joy and I lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? Okay, so I found Zabil and I can ask her to rejoin us. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabine um, in any sort of proximity. A six-sided shape is carved side. upon its forehead. For okay, we have Sabil back. <laughs> Where are you guys? I am on the very bottom. I'm not sure where Genshi Are you in the second? Hello. I'm down by you, just on the other side. Um, How do you get to the bottom? There is a huge pile of gold here and a weird door. I can't leave conversation. Oh, you're over here. Okay. Hold on. I'm right next to you. So. <clears throat> I apparently know. I apparently know the password. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that one chick. Oh, uh, this chick has a lot of fire spells. Yeah, she's the one from that camp. To open it. Wait. Apparently, I need more than a password to open this. I'm gonna try... That room looks fancy as shit. There's a skeleton cat in there. I'm going to rattle the doorknob. And some dude named Tarquin. I've... I've read very many bugs with that guy that they've had to constantly patch. Oops. I can't click on Cerexia. <clears throat> hmm. There's another one over here, which has a room okay. filled with gold. So I can't do anything with this door. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. I can attack the door. Should I try that? Forehead, no. As if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. Okay. <clears throat> um... It says a six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead as if a gem or amulet had had made a mark there. So I'm guessing it needs we need something to place on the door that will open it. The face vanishes. <clears throat> the door stays resolute. It's maybe something to unlock later. I'm going to click on this weird mirror thing. That sounds terrible. Oh, wow. Arif is looking sexy. <laughs> uh, this is the respec thing. So we can redistribute our uh, points. I got a plus two initiative pair of boots. If anybody <coughs> needs that. Yep, we can completely redistribute our stuff here. I'm pretty happy with what I'm am. Um, I think I am too. Uh, for the moment, anyway. Even our uh, talents and stuff. And you can change your instruments. You can also change your appearance. <clears throat> Let's 
So Rixio seems to be eyeing that uh, painting. I'm wondering if there's anything behind it. Yeah, but then we won't be able to put it back. Allies for hire. Allies for hire? What? Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too. As she long sells as fighters. Oh, I see you have a full contingent already. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> There's got to be some clue. Dallas would have trusted someone with the secret, wouldn't she? Unless there's someone still inside. Does she sell different fire spells now? Of course she's selling that peace of mind now. Oh, shocking. <clears throat> Alright, so we need to... You said there's something possibly like a shrieker up top? It's the, uh... Why is the bill hurt and I can't heal her? Why is that not healing? Let's go to the bow. Up top. Just gave myself a uh, haircut and a shave. <clears throat> Should we go talk to Alexander first? Um, Since we're he... down here? Well, we're up top now. Oh, yeah, that dude's smoldering. This huge thing up front? Uh -huh. I'm gonna Where are you? save before. Show us the Damn it, to come up top. <sighs> You're at the head of the ship, right? Yes. Also known as the bow. I will go talk to it since it seems to be one of my kids. Tus and Delius, hear my prayer. Show us the way forward. Deliver us from peril. I spot a mark on the figure. At that moment, the ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, companions, it's been fun. Please don't die. Searing pain races oh, up your God. arm. The ship senses you. It's angry. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep my uh, arm where it is. The pain intensifies. It's spreading past your arm. Are you oh, smoking? smoking? Your lungs feel like they're on fire. Oh! Pray to you for my secret brethren. Show us the path to salvation. Okay. Tercendelius. Pray to you for my seeker brethren. Show us the path to salvation. I'm gonna talk to it again. What was with the movement thing? Searing pain races up. The pain in your arm subsides to a dull tingle. The scales on your hand are scorched. Searing pain races up your arm. <laughs> the pain in your arm subsides to a dull tingle. The searing pain, the pain in your <laughs> no. arm subsides to a dull tingle. The scales on your I... Hmm. I want to burn. Maybe we need to talk to Alexander first. Alright. Yeah, what's up here? Show us the path to salvation. A dead magister. 25 gold. So, how much money do we all have? Total, 7,000. Oh my god, Genshi, you have so much money. Mm -hmm. Who had the, the 
really nice armor. Up here. What are you talking about? Which person? The one a Mave. Oh. I've got a mage's garment that I don't know if you want, but I'm going to send it to you anyways. So sadly, uh, what's his name isn't here. Can't you say anything else? Is that uh, the one guy that died near the beginning of our playthrough in that fight oh. in town? Evan Fayette or whatever. Huh? The lone lone wolf guy. Yeah, even something Fayed. All right, I'm going to. Wait, this isn't Alexander. Oh, he's on the bed there. <laughs> you guys coming down? Yeah, I'll come down. I found a pair of panties in this chest. Specifically panties. Yeah, mm. that's what it says. It says panties. <laughs> so when I click on this beer barrel, it wants me to combine it with something. I wonder if you put an empty cup in there, you just get beer. Do you want panties? Master says panties in the of his praying power. <laughs> A young magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot, so stow your questions. I have some questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Why is that so quiet? Oh, she's doing the military thing where she's just gonna keep repeating herself and with her title and Ranley, Corker's mate, Lady Vengeance. Yep. The Magister pauses, takes a deep breath, and... <laughs> of course. <laughs> Alright, last thing to say. Manly. Yeah, okay. Cork hmm. <laughs> I ought to Can... chain you up like your lot did to me. Why doesn't uh, Sabelle talk Randy, to her? Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. You know... I clicked on Alexander. Inspect his hands. That's an odd choice. His jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Are we sure he's not dead? I'm gonna get a good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Shouldn't his skin, like, be all in broils and whatnot? I'm gonna inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. And at his simple regalia. You can't quite make out the details. You need to get closer. Sibyl, unlock this door. Swinging from the end of a rope, not locked up in here. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, huh. Lady Okay. <laughs> you keep saying that. 
It won't save you. <laughs> I'm not good to answer in either Shit. of those categories. Um. <laughs> Guess I'll go with which ones you're higher. I don't know what your strength uh, is. My strength is only 12. My memory is 14. Okay. Hmm. Prisoner or not, I swore an oath. Touch him again, and I'll kill you. Maybe I should have... You'll try. Aerith's memory is pretty high. Well, Cerexia's strength is probably the highest in the group. Well, my memory is 21. Oh. That's pretty good. Who's Cerixia talking to? No one. So she right, talked so to her. What? Which one did you click on? I clicked on Alexander. Let me try talking to her. Okay, she doesn't. Um, actually, why don't she? Someone talk to her. Thank you. Oh, God damn it! She doesn't have anything good on her. No, but there might be a item specific for stealing. It's just the other people in the room are kind of looking over here. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, you're not going to be able to with Constance walking around out there. Yeah. So you can stop. All right. Well, I'll quick I'll quick save again and click on Alexander and see if we get the same. I warned you not. To touch. Okay. You know what? This is our ship now. If you're gonna just pull this shit with us, you can join the uh, other dead bodies up on the deck. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sibyl, I seem to have removed all of her armor. <laughs> oh man, you could do your tentacle lash move and that would end it. Yep, that's what I plan to do as soon as I find it on my hop. <laughs> I probably need to get a little closer. Oh, or maybe not. Bye. <laughs> Does she have anything on her? No. Bishop Alexander lies soon. All right, back to Alexander. <laughs> Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. Um, his swollen jaw no, I just have the same options you had. Angle. I'll let you click on him. Let me try it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I wasn't in the conversation. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. You found something on him? Yep. The six-sided gem to get in and out of the doors. Should we let him live? For now. Eh, close the... Yeah. <laughs> The wood grows, the face vanishes. 
The anguished face appears once oh, more. Oh, both doors it dips its highlighted. towards you and waits. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. No. Okay. Nothing. It asked me to use the port side door. <clears throat> oh. So we can't get into that one yet. Yes. And yes again. Okay. The word is spoken. Oh. Welcome to the state room. Uh, Tarquin engaged me in conversation. It's funny because your little portrait has changed, but your party picture hasn't. What do you mean? Your party picture under Sibyl has not changed. You still have a beard. Oh, he looks different to me on my screen. Huh. You want to talk this conversation? Or are we just going to keep loading? I'm getting important stuff that you might like. Damn it. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Wow, he's got a lot of stuff on him. I don't like your new portrait. Holy crap. Um... Holy shit. Oh. <clears throat> 51 magic armor. 10 physical armor, 1 intelligence, and 1 pyro. Mm. A mantle of magic. Some knockdown arrows, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Death's Knell. Ooh. That's a, uh, that's a really good crossbow. Magic Lizard Staff. 25 to 31 fire damage. Yeah, let's just browser shop later. Wow. Just eating time, man. <laughs> Some good shit in here, like the one-handed mace that I know Saki's gonna want. All right. You are now overburdened, by the way. Wow, I've got 33 empty potion bottles. Uh, what are you doing? Is that armor you're working on? Armor? Such a limiting word, but yes, it serves that purpose, amongst others. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But I try to keep working on my own projects when I can. What armor? The gauntlet that he put down. No. Oh. Trap. No, that's a... I don't see anything. Um, point out that the prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why are you here? <laughs> Dallas took a particular interest in me mm. and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. Okay. She kept me here to do her bidding. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. So where is she then? Uh, kind of sounds like you're a mercenary. I've offered my services for gold in the past, yes. But my labors for Dallas were far from voluntary. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. I might be able to do something for that. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I'll ruin them in the process. 
And what exactly did she have you do? Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchant a dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. <laughs> I, I saw that. <laughs> he clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. You enchanted a dead cat? Kind of seems like necromancy. No! Necromancy is an unsavory practice. Not something to be trifled with lightly. Yes, yeah, Abel. But a cunning illusion <laughs> of my own creation, nothing more. His face abruptly creases into a smile. But come now. Enough of Dallas and dead cats. You've taken this ship and granted my freedom. This is a happy moment. Does he know how to get the ship moving? Um, hold on a moment. I'm not done with questions for you. What else did Dallas have you do? I'm afraid I cannot tell you what I do not remember. Could you pass me that cup of wire just there? Mm, I think I'd like to hear a proper ending to your first story. An unseen force yanks the copper out of your grasp. Tarquin catches it and offers you a thin smile. Mm. Butterfingers? I'm afraid I truly can't remember anything. Now, unless there's something else you want, I need to get back to my work. I don't believe you. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? <laughs> Because trusting strangers is a good way to wind up dead. Well, you're painting me into a corner here, friend. And I don't like to be cornered. Anyone who faced enslavement deserves our sympathy, not our blades. Leave him. This coming from Seville. It's not doing it in the, uh, <clears throat> it's doing that bug again. Well, if the Seekers trust him, I suppose I shall too. There's my friend and right, hand then. in friendship. The Seekers trust you and I shall too. I offer my hand in friendship. Talk to the, uh, skeleton cat. I will in a moment. Ah, do you have any insight into Dallas? Hmm, Sheet of a pyramid. Yeah, just a piece of paper. What on Rivalon is this for? A teleporter pyramid. Oh, I am still in conversation with this guy, by Try the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who just picked up the pyramid? I did, and so did somebody else. Well, we're on the same boat, so to speak. So the way that pyramid worked in the first one is it allowed you to teleport to party members. This is written in ancient lizard script. It appears to be a song. Huh. Saki, try reading this book here. It's written in wizard. <laughs> I need to send something to somebody else. Uh, I put it back on the table. What's this? I found something. Oops, Bill just found something. Oh, that looks like a secret compartment. And 
All right, what else are we doing down here? Over here, I found a secret compartment or something. Did we get into this lower yes. room and get all the gold and everything? Talk to this dead cat. I'm clicking on this thing. <laughs> oh, shit! There are geists down here. I'm in combat. Oh. 